The hip hop community is often perceived as the most dangerous section of the whole music industry. Rappers are never taken seriously until they have some street credit. To gain that respect, they have to get themselves involved in a life of crimes, which is almost equivalent to making the deal with the devil. Nothing good comes out of this deal. Very few rappers have been successful in leaving street life behind. Most of them have ties so strong that just can't be cut. They either get stuck in an endless loop of courtroom trials until they get a hefty life sentence, or worse, they end up being shot by a rival gang. Today, we'll talk about rappers who couldn't escape their dark side and ended up in prison despite having a promising debut. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. Also, if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end and find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Pooh Shiesty Pooh Shiesty also became a part of the street life before he got a chance to do something else with his life. In Memphis, gang wars aren't something unusual. Shiesty has known about that his whole life and when he had hit his teens, the city's two big rappers, Yo Gotti and Young Dolph, were at each other's throats. Both of them had their own gangs, Paper Route and CMG. Shiesty had a choice to join either one of them since no rapper could do anything there without being affiliated with one of those gangs. Pooh did something else. He created his own gang with his school friends, Choppa Gang. Shiesta started releasing his mixtapes and caught the eye of Gucci Mane. The famous rapper signed him to his label, and for a moment it seemed like Shiesty had nothing to do with street life anymore. But then, in 2020, he was arrested in connection to a shooting at Bay Harbor Island in Florida. More investigation unveiled that he was there to make some drug deals. Things didn't go as planned, and he pulled out the weapon. This was a serious crime, and he was facing various charges like armed robbery, criminal theft, and aggravated assault, and battery. Shiesty got out of jail after paying a huge bail amount. Then, in June 2021, the feds arrested him in connection to a strip club shooting in Miami. This time, the case against him is far stronger due to his background, and in August 2021, his plea was rejected. The court is ordered to keep him in jail, and this time, it seems he might be there for a long time. New at 6, Lontrell Williams, also known as rapper Poo Shiesty, will remain in jail for now. Williams was arrested for an incident at a South Florida gentleman's club where he's accused of shooting a security guard. That man is now recanting his story and telling investigators he doesn't remember being shot by Williams. But the judge denied bond as police look into why the victim is not cooperating. Also, the U.S. attorney has placed a federal retainer on another pending criminal case involving the rapper. NBA young boy. NBA got his first trip to a detention center when he was in ninth grade, and since then, his crimes have only gotten bigger. In 2016, he was arrested for open firing at a group of people in South Baton Rouge Street. He later told that it wasn't him who pulled the trigger, but he was just present in the vehicle. In 2017, he decided to take the plea deal, which had one count of assault with a firearm. Even after this, he couldn't stay out of trouble for long, and in February 2018, he got arrested on three charges. Kidnapping weapon violations, and assault. Police acquired CCTV footage that showed him beating his girlfriend, but then, Jania, his girlfriend, completely denied it. Despite her denial, he was arrested and was released on a $75,000 bond. Once again in 2019, he was arrested for shooting at someone in Miami. The charges were dropped because the other person was also shooting at them. Hence, young boy shooting back was proven as an act of self-defense. In 2021, Feds arrested him for stealing and selling dangerous firearms. He was also involved in a massive drug racket in Louisiana. Currently, he is in the FBI's custody, and they are doing their best to put him behind bars for life. According to BRPD, this all started on Monday afternoon when BRPD, along with FBI agents, received a tip about a group of people waving around guns on an abandoned lot on Chippewa Street. One of those individuals, Kentrell Galden, better known as rapper NBA Youngboy. YFN Lucci YFN Lucci was making the waves due to his unique style of rapping. He had a naturally high-pitched voice and always thought he wasn't cut out for singing. At 16, he was encouraged by rapper Johnny Cinco to take rapping seriously. In the last few years, he had been successful in making a good name for himself. But then in 2021, YFN was arrested for shooting two people in December. One was a 28-year-old man who died, and the other one survived. He was charged with aggravated assault and participation in criminal street gang activity. In May 2021, he was one of the 12 people charged in a 105 count RICO indictment. In June 2021, the court denied his bail, and since then, he has been patiently waiting for a trial. YNW Melly YNW Melly was already knee deep into street life when he burst into the music scene. 
but still, no one would have expected the crime that would become the reason for the end of his career. On February 14, 2019, Melly and his friend Henry were arrested as the prime suspects in the murder investigation of Christopher Thomas Jr. and Anthony Williams. Both of the victims were his friends, and all four boys had formed a rap collective. The victims' families were adamant that Henry and Melly are the real culprits, and they should be punished for what they did to their sons. While Melly was in jail for the murders of Christopher and Anthony, another old murder from 2017 came to light, and the investigation concluded that Melly had been part of it as well. The detectives have also called Melly to be the main shooter. Melly was complicit, but he didn't pull the trigger. The motive behind this murder is that Melly didn't want to share the money that they were getting from the songs. In April 2020, he even got COVID in jail, but the judge didn't budge, and he had to recover while being inside prison. He is still in jail, and with every passing day, the hope of him getting out is getting diminished. Silento Silento was arguably the biggest rapper of 2015. His song, Watch Me Whip Nene, has become a rage among children. Sadly, he didn't put his fame to any positive use and went down an endless spiral of crimes. In August 2020, he was arrested for hitting his then-girlfriend. He faced charges of domestic violence and inflicting corporal injury on a spouse or cohabitant. He was soon released from jail, and instead of changing his ways, he was next arrested with a hatchet in his hand while he was looking for his girlfriend. 22-year-old rapper Silento, whose real name is Richard Lamar Hawk, is now facing charges of assault with a deadly weapon. He had trespassed into some stranger's home, and after looking at his aggressive condition, they called the cops. In February 2021, he got booked for shooting his cousin in DeKalb County. For this, he was indicted in August on charges of malice murder, felony murder, aggravated assault, and possession of a firearm while committing a felony. Since then, he has been in jail, and this time, it doesn't look like he can get out of it with just bail or community service. Rapper Silento has been indicted in DeKalb County for the murder of his cousin. Casanova. Casanova was slowly climbing the ranks of talented new rappers, but then his name got involved in gang racketeering. In December 2020, the FBI got an arrest warrant for him as they called him the real mastermind behind the untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation gang. Due to his heavy involvement in the gang, the list of charges against him was no joke. He practically had everything on his charge sheet, racketeering, murder, narcotics, firearms, and fraud offenses. While the FBI had warrants against him, he decided to surrender himself. Since then, his lawyer has been trying to prove that the rapper is innocent, but the federal officers have made a strong case against him. G Herbo Herbo was on the brink of getting that worldwide acclaim when he was getting arrested on a variety of crimes, ranging from possession of a weapon to big frauds. He first got arrested in 2018 for having unlicensed weapons with him in the car. Then, in 2019, he again made headlines for beating the mother of his child. But the big blow came in 2020 when he was indicted on charges of wire fraud and aggravated identity theft. He and the other co-conspirators had been stealing credit card information and they used the stolen money to pay for their luxurious lifestyle. He has still maintained his silence on the whole matter, making his fans wonder that he is actually capable of doing this huge fraud. And with this, we have come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below which rapper do you think is looking at the toughest sentence. Let us know your thoughts in the whole video below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Until